just show me something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Just give us give give the people what they want. The people want Q build tasks our black hole. We've been asking for. We don't it want for curse God. bullet. Try to one shot with the garage. No. Be linear. Be, be do the do the one thing that the other team knows you're gonna do, and if you fail, you instantaneously lose. Let's go black <laughs> hole. Let's get some big wombo combos. Let's be impressive as as players. What about as, like as teams? Just like black hole and tomb, like right there. Look. Black hole and tomb, living bomb. Oh my god, we're we're hitting all of the rolls we need. Oh wait, no. Black hole's so big you can turn your monitor off and just cast it. It's gonna hit. I mean, it, yeah, seriously. It's it's like it's like uh, gladiators. What what's the upgrade? It's it's the upgrade for bloodlust level twenty. It's it's gladiators yeah, it's arena or something like that. that. Like. It's just, you know, you just chuck it wherever and it's going to hit. Um, please no Tass. What do you mean no Tass? God, like... <laughs> What's wrong with Tass? Tass is busted. What's wrong with, like... He does, like, 800 damage a Q at level 6. Like, it's absurd. If you're Li Ming, that's a 30 year health, roughly. Caster math kicking in, but it doesn't matter, like... Also, if you're I don't Li know. Ming, you just throw orbs at Tass and he stands still because it takes 2 seconds to cast his Q and eats 1500 damage from your 2 buttons. That didn't lead to a maybe reset. There's, maybe there's know. a maybe there's a little bit of counterplay into Tastadar, just a wee bit of counterplay into <laughs> them. Uh, ETC Joanna gotten rid of here, so they're getting rid of the big names at the start of Cursed Hollow. No global threat to be gotten rid of. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it would it would pop up early in draft, but I think next round of bans. I expect a, a Lost Vikings ban coming out from Crisan here. I I like the the donuts had such good play from the Vikings in game one. I'll be surprised if we don't see Samro here too. Yeah, Samro. I wouldn't like, let I, it through on this map. He's just really strong. Oppressive. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just can be oppressive. You don't get to play like the. Hey, I'm just gonna take your camp on this map, right? Mm -hmm. Like on Guardian, you have the ability to be like, let's invade. Okay, now we, you know, we even saw what I was talking about before with with Garden. Once you get a lead, you just kind of retain it until the game ends. Um, and they were able to do the same thing. But the Samro is not banned. Sylvanas. Seems like we're just staying, taking it nice and standard. I, I want to see new tanks too, Baja. Is it? it Zul is going through. Maybe, maybe, Zool maybe, tank. maybe we get a main tank, Zul, yeah, huh? New tank. There you go. <laughs> in a sense, you know. Uh, no, I, I get you. Like, yeah, we don't, we don't see a lot of Murden play. No um, Murden. No stitches. Muriel actually got. You know, oh god, I love. So on Wednesday, I was playing, and it was just like, cause the, I kind of fell into the tank role this past week, and they were just like, so Bahama, what are you playing? I was like, well, I have like. Joanna stitches and um, uh, etc like practice like those ones like I could pull out and I and I feel kind of comfortable playing playing that with a team composition. But every time I mention stitches like that, I'd want to play it. They'd be like, I'd just be silenced from my team. I'm like, <laughs> like stitches. Like I'd be like, all right, I'll just play etc or Joanna. Like like anytime I'd say eat like stitches, they would just say nothing. When I say Joanna or etc, they'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, one of those would be good on this. You know, like they talk <laughs> about the strategy. So this this Wednesday, my goal is to force them to play a stitches game with me. Like Kai plays a really good Malfury, and I know Totsky plays really good Kelthos. So like maybe we can get something going with the, you know that old composition. But either way, let's get into our draft here because we do have Cursed Hollow and we do have a Tyrael picked up here on the left hand side. We did we did see it banned out in the last game, so I'm excited for this Tyrael. Whether we get that Holy Ground Invade, just the aggression overall, so I'm excited about this one. They did say, the they said, they said last week too, Nintori was like the only person that could play Tyrael in NA. I'm pretty sure in the winners. I'm, I'm excited to right? see it now, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm ready for this. Um, any rules about role swapping? I don't know what they mean. Wait, who so, said that? Are they it's, typing it's that in the draft. It's, it's in the draft chat. I don't know what they're talking any about. There's no, just swap roles. Is that what they want? They want to swap roles? They can do whatever they want. I said, what rules about roles? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Zul and Medivh and Mal Yeah, like, we literally just, we put this together because basically, we you know, we grabbed two tanks, <laughs> two solos, two healers, and four ranged assassins. Or just, a, you know, DPS. Like, it's just, that's how we're building this. We just don't want to, we don't want to draft ten tanks for everyone because no one's going to want to heal. And then everyone's going to be like, who's Medivh. healing? Okay. <laughs> okay. Play, play, play Medivh. <laughs> I just okay play Madi like I just it... <laughs> Li Ming and Deathwing were banned out so Samuro still up and available Viking still up and available um actually a lot of good options as Lucio Rainer is going to be good. grabbed. It's called Ooh, I like this. That's... This is this is like I'm finally seeing a comp that's not linear in a one shot Pepega rifles that are just like 
Bless Shield, Curse Bullet, Garage Taunt, Curse Bullet, ETC Slide, Curse Bullet. Like, we finally have a little bit of swagger coming out from this draft. Um, and 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 this is more this is this is more my speed the the Stitches. rat the rat Stitches. draft. Ooh. Okay, so it's main tank. Maintain I was kind of hoping. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for a stitches. You know, like you hook, you root, you bone prison. Like I thought it was just gonna be like single target blow up, but like even then, you still have technically a a, a hook in a sense. You got to hunk a tongue drag. So mm-hmm. I'd like. I'm a, excited about that one. I think I I would like a false hat pick here. If I was drafting, I would take false hat. Oh, into the Dahaka, absolutely. You don't gives really, you it gives you and you have triple yeah, range. You're like, you're you're all around them. <gasps> you can gust up. You can, well, here's your keg W. So, Just keg W's in chat. Keg W's in chat. So keg W does exactly what I guess I was about to flex with the the false side and the fact that he can push people off of portals. So with gust, so you'd be able to gust the portal. With yeah. barrel, you can barrel the portal, right? And that kind of just shuts down mm-hmm. that whole purpose of Mediv. But let's not forget about Fortifying Brew at level one, because you and I were talking about this last week. You're, you know, because enough to share pairs well into Fortifying Brew at level one. Fortifying mm-hmm. Brews, you get 15 regeneration globes. Your shielding from your brew is persistent after you drink. Mm-hmm. And then enough to share, shares that with friendly members. You're now giving shielding that persists to friendly like members. You're giving like 800. <laughs> no, so it's not 800 you're, you're, shields, but it, it's big. But, but it's, it's, you're reducing, if not mitigating, most of the burst that's going to come out from Vala at that point. And you can mm-hmm. play around the... Um, you can play around enough to share as well. Like you can kick into the back line, start drinking, have Lunara leaping strike, Tyrael throws in an Eldrin's might, and they'll come into shielding. So it's just like it, it, it's just like it's a really good setup. I I will always argue for a Chen, but either way, we're here. Game number two on the left hand side. We're on Cursed Hollow. We've got the members of the Delicious Donuts, Notori on the Tyrael. Funds will be on the Chen. Troy is going to be on that Lunara. Lupus will be on the. Rainer and Legacy is going to be on that Lucio. And looking at the side of the croissant, maybe some chocolate croissants. We got mm-hmm. Renata Valimar on the Dahaka, CPX playing, the Malfurion, Hacho on Zul, Pirate Rum on the Vala, and Medivh going to be played by Porky. So, yeah, I mean, so Zul's issue is that he lacks uh he's, he's a lack of the mobility you know um mm-hmm. and i think the medivh pick is basically to stop that from being an issue right yeah. uh being able to move him around so you know going into this game i think a lot of it is going to come down to that chin um how present the chin is in the team fights um is he able to barrel is hacho Ooh. able to just get one shot <laughs> as we see level one of tongue does connect from Valmar legacy taking a lot of damage Able to get the Ooh. wall run though to get away. That that slight tap on the wall for the push off was perfectly played right there. Um, the one thing I wanna I wanna I'm just I'm thinking right now. I'm just thinking about this. I'm thinking about the the invade onto the camps that they can also have on the side of croissants, and I'm just trying to like figure it out because like you know you got you you can do the poly bomb from Medivh, and you can you know you you can have those YouTube plays where you get the. The boss deal and everyone's just a sheep kind of spreading around or do you go into like the ley line seal for a setup here like i'm trying to like i'm trying to like figure out what their tens going to be and like how they're going to play into this enemy team because i won't lie like the aggression from donuts is post 10 like there's a lot of good control that comes out with them Sancti- uh, sanctification wandering keg if we get it even storm and fire mitigates a lot of damage because you can sit there just stagger the hell stagger a lot of your health and then just pop storm and fire as long as you're not interrupted which there aren't a ton of interrupts then you should be fine so I don't know. It's it's tens are gonna be interesting this game. Like I'm I'm keep trying to figure out like who's gonna get a massive upper hand, but I'm leaning towards donuts. Yeah, um, it's you know I think the Medivh too obviously picked to to kind of freeze them up when they hit the sanctification on Tyrael, right? Uh, mm. As like okay. the counter to the counter, um, <laughs> especially when we're fighting over bosses. Uh, but yeah, they, they could go in really any way. Um, Chen just gonna drink through all the damage. I don't think he cares about it. it. Doesn't really exist for him. Even pop stagger, but d- d- like didn't even actually take stagger damage. Gonna take another route. Now he you can't drink through this, this one. Yeah, because <laughs> the, z- the skeletons are kind of beating him up here. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, they just they've gotten so much damage after the rework to Zul. <laughs> just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> just constantly just like picking I've just been watching funds this entire time. Like I'm just waiting to see like does funds go down or do he they might. literally like they're he's kinda trolling. S- 
He's kind of trolling yeah, they're, here. They're, he's playing with fire. They're putting a whole lot of, like... They're putting a whole lot into just pushing back Chen. And oh. this is, like, so... Yeah, meanwhile in mid lane... Not trolling, Baha. He's getting double towers mid by being frustrating to top lane. Exactly, yeah. Like this, that, like, this is why I think Chen is such a strong pick overall. Because, like, he can do things like this where he just... And, like, look at, like, his health. Like, I think Chen... I'm clicking to check. So they've got 100 seconds on their... Um, on their well right now so they did tap it a couple seconds ago like 20, 20 or so seconds but like still like still fairly healthy still doing fine they're all set up He's no advantage to either team. level one too mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, that's helping i'm looking to see needs. yeah i'm waiting i'm waiting to see what the uh, invade looks like right now also just really quickly for anyone wondering porky's at 23 stacks on the arcane rift baseline quest still needs 17 more during this objective phase as the hawk is rotating up so is lunara this is nintori getting into the backline loop is trying to go for the channel doesn't seem like there's anything's gonna happen yet as another portal comes out from Porky. Raven familiar as well. And Chen gonna kick on in. I don't know, I don't know, Mac. I think they might be able to push them back at this point. Yeah, fun taking a lot of damage is a root missing there from CPX. Obviously a Malfurion main. Uh, as he's just unable to root a target that's already rooted. Uh, Pirate though, doing his best to put out some damage. He does need the heal from Malfurion and obviously the Moonfires need to connect as we see one missed for the healing gap and the root does connect a second root as well legacy Ooh. with the push off possibly hacho doing his best to put out some damage from the curse strike he does have the w build so as long as people keep grouping he will keep on swinging the portal comes out too looks like a familiar at level four taken so the slow auto attacks possibly able to chase him down they are just going to be able to pick up funds there um, one for zero and the first curse going over to the to team croissant I was really well played for them. Like they they played that slow. They didn't get too aggressive, and I think that's that's exactly what they need to do. Like their their poke potential is massive. They waited for an opportunity. They got into the back line and they waited for Chen to play. You know, as aggressive as Chen has been playing. So just kind of waiting for them to kind of overextend. And Chen did in a sense, and they 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 capitalized on that. Chen wasn't able to drink through that much pain. So we are going to see them kind of get that advantage because they got the pick onto them. But Medivh sitting at 37 stacks currently. So if they are able to get three more Arcane Rifts onto the enemy heroes, they won't need to worry about that baseline quest if they do die. Lunara does open up bottom lane in, well, in bottom lane. And uh, this is going to be mid lane pushed up a little bit as Nintori will be able to get the clear here. No 10 talent here just yet. We should be seeing just kind of 8 to 8, 9 to 9 area for this next objective phase as uh, Porky's itching to get that, that questing talent done. And uh, Funz is going to sidestep a little bit of that. Uh, damage from them as Pyre gets a big burst on them. Can actually pop the stagger from the Chen, but we have objective phase up and available. No tens just yet. And looks like Nintori finding CPX there, putting a lot of damage. Funds as well is going to be able to connect a nice wall. Oh, actually a portal out there for Pog. CPX walking away. Yeah, it was a really good job from Medivh too, and he's able to stall the channel down in the bottom lane. And a little poke here and there. They did finish out the Arcane Rift stacks. Uh, Kyle Ferguson, thank you for the raid as well. Thanks for bringing all your friends over here. We are currently doing the Heroes Hearth in-house league as this is going to be game number two. And we see the Rainer getting picked off. The members of Croissant want to go ahead and bring us to a game three when it's going to be one to one. But thank you for that raid once again and welcome everyone over. Ten Town Tiers do rotate through for both these teams. And this is going to also be two curses or two points for the curse in favor for the members of Croissant. Wandering Keg is here so you can just, you know, you can spam Keg W and chat all you want. Maha loves the keg w by the way guys so it's actually it's it's sorry i just realized it, it, it's it's off cooldown it's it's i just i like i went to go get a sip of tea and it's i noticed that it was off cooldown and hacho almost getting picked off right there but yeah. uh invade onto the boss right now mcintyre yeah it's, it, porky might be able to oh he's poly bomb sanctification is going to connect they all stack up will they be able to turn it from here they aren't able to the portal is going to come down here just maybe an evacuation disaster Coming out for Team Croissant. Hacho doing his best to just stand still and walk away from the computer, <gasps> continuing to spam W. Oh. Is he going to be enough to pick up Legacy? He does. Volumark showing up. The Hawk of the Portal is going to come down. Able to get out. One for two. Did, Not terrible. Did you see Porky on the right side of the screen? Yeah. Polybomb Chen when they had 60 health. They burn Polybomb. Chen doesn't get the last auto. Mounts up. Gets out of there. Gives the... Oh, my God. Gives the portal from bird form with the level one talent. Oh, my God. That After was so well Hawk played. And, yeah, and the whole time, too, Zul was just swinging. Mm -hmm. Keeping himself alive. Porky here, too, just saying, guess what, guys? Oh, Wonder guess what, Wonder guys? Wonder 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 you can't get to your portal if you're kicked. You. Oh, my... He goes back to the other <laughs> side. They're just waiting for him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so oh, they're it. just like... Oh, oh God. That... What are you... Whoa, 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 whoa. 
yeah, out that... here right now. I do want to. I want to. I want to uh, point out the the synergy once again from Donuts because they they played that so really well because they didn't have Wander and Keg obviously. So Tyrael, Aldruin might in at the last second. Pop Sanctification. No Polybomb value is, is is available. And just as Sanctification ends for any sort of big burst damage possibly coming into them, they pop the Sound Barrier from Legacy. That was just really really well played. Just being like, all right, cool. I have Sanctification. I have Sound Barrier. We grab the objective. We force them out. Like it was just really well played and it was very well coordinated in that boss invade. And it was just like. Like if you like go back and watch that boss and pain, you can learn a whole lot about you know utilizing your abilities at the correct moment and just kind of synergizing with the uh, the her heroes on your friendly team. As this will be boss or bottom lane, Chen kicking out through top lane, clearing that up should be 13 to 13 with no curse availability for the members of Donuts. They are going to look for that curse on the side of Croissant as they do lose their fort in bottom lane. I could see a potential concede of this tribute too, right? Just give go to the two three, defend the boss. Yeah. Um, yep. Just two two. Yeah. Make sure that, you know, we're ready, we're set up for the next fight, and the map isn't just, like, completely destroying us in the meanwhile. But Porky might get cute again. Uh, maybe catch catch some barrels to the face um, as they are set up here to potentially go into the fight. At level 13, let's see, the Tyrael has actually taken Holy Ground, so not yep. able to have the Zeratul Wormhole funds getting engaged on here. The Rue is going to connect. Troy doing his best to leap over. Will they be able to chase him down with a portal? A Polybomb coming out. Legacy still has the barrier. It is going to connect. Hacho stuck in the corner there. He is taken down. CPX doing his best to heal. The skeleton slowing everyone up there. As you can see, Fun sharing some brew with his teammates. Pirate as well trying to pressure him out, but I don't think he's going to be able to. The portal. And in the meantime, Valmar is going to be picked up here too. CPX, a great route is going to connect. Pirate doing his best to put out some damage, but they're just going to run him down with the Lucio. So much speed. Oh, maybe not. They're so everywhere right now. They are able to yeah, pick up the Malfurion. Porky portaling away. He is going to get away. Troy might have gotten hit by the Q there. Yeah, the spell shield at level 13 doing so much, absorbing so much as well. Pirate, a nice shield. Is he going to be enough for the Polybomb? <laughs> Porky's doing a wonderful job here to just keep people alive. I, I will say, this is a mm -hmm. very, very good Medivh play, and, and even just watching it has me a bit aggravated. No, it's, it's, there's so many moments where in these fights I'm just like, you're gonna get the Medivh, like I'm waiting to you're say it, and the Medivh just doesn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and I've played Medivh against Medivhs like this, and it's just like, it's just like, I, I want this game to be over so bad right now. Wandering Keg actually coming out. Wandering Keg! Ooh, I was I was wait I was waiting right there, but uh Wandering Keg I believe does just have movement speed. Sorry, for a second I was just like it's got shielding, but no, that's that's level that's level uh twenty. You get the the upgrade gives you some shielding. Because I was like, you can just purposely tank damage from the keg in keg form when you get the armor, but I realized that's that's at twenty, so never mind. I thought they were gonna dive further out and find the Kelly. Either way, 16 talents here around the corner for the members of Donuts. Croissant not too far behind themselves. They need about a level and a little bit extra on top of that. But I think they might try and fight this while both teams are down their 16s. And if they can get a kill or two here, that will really pull that experience back in their favor. Rook is out, but I think it's more of a zoning route, if anything else. Uh, Pirate throws a lot of damage. Leaping Strike's coming out from Lunara. Not going to be able to get... It's kind of an awkward Leaping Strike. Puts him in the wall. Valmar getting a flank burrow in, but they don't manage to... Ooh, that's a really nice gain of vision right there. Nantori's going to go ahead and get locked in by the Bone Prison. There's going to be a Wandering Keg Sound Barrier out from the Lucio. Pirate finds themselves in the back lane right there. Very low from the damage over time. They will be going down to the Chen right there. CPX will be getting picked off as well. They did have the Twilight Dream. Silences a couple members, but Hacho finding themselves very far from the friendly side. Legacy will get picked off. No extra healing coming out to the side of Donuts as Croissant will be able to get a Polymorph onto Funds. Oh, this again. Medivh gets into the mounted form again. They get the portal for the Valimar. But no. into the, he did it again, Vahan. No. Like, <laughs> working with these Poly bombs have just been ridiculous. As this will be, top lane fort going down. They should be able to get the mid lane as well. And uh, Tiro probably pushes it. No, I think they kind of group up in mid to top. I mean, I think we're seeing, like, exactly what I was kind of speaking on in the draft. And the fact that this team is just so mobile and um, independent. <laughs> oh, God. Goodbye, Valmar. It's been fun. Actually, where's Porky at? Porky! Where's the... Porky's oh, they're, in, they're top engaging in the top lane. They to might help. be able to turn some kills. Loop is going to be taken Loop. down. I, that's fine. Rainer, Rainer for Daka, I think, is okay in this case. That's the, a lot of the push mm -hmm. power was just taken away from Team Donut. Yeah. Um, um, it is it is Rainer's Raider, but still, like, it is consistent damage. Troy? I don't know about this one. Medivh's going to scout it out. Dahaka's down for third. Oh, they do. Well, they have Sanctification 18. Ah, this is super risky. 
I'm I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm really surprised we didn't take Leyline. Leyline is so good versus Sanctification. Mm -hmm. They have no answer to it either. Um, like if Sanctification pops off, then Zul just turns off. Um, and and kind of has nowhere to go, nowhere to be in these fights. So it is a 4v5. If there was ever a time to force a fight, it would be now. As they do have a window without the Rainer existing. It looks like they're just going to get those waves going back again. And yeah. I'll it's just, I think it's, I think it's just... Yep. I was gonna say probably look to see the donut just play the twenty, play the map, just continue to uh, extend that lead. We do have a two three though, a two three curse coming out from the side of Kristan, so we'll see. We'll see where they go with that. I got a little bit of time before that next one pops up. There's probably I think like two minutes, two minute thirty from when a cursed phase ends to the did you get the next one. They're gonna try and are they gonna I think they're gonna try and go for bottom lane keep. Just looking at their positioning on the mini map, they're gonna be able to grab Siege Giants and just amplify that bottom lane. Um they know that they have to deal with something in top lane. Medivh did hearth back already, so they're in position to deal with bottom. They just don't wanna have they don't want in a best of five series to go, you know, against a two they they don't want to go oh two in a best of five series here. So making this the defensive plays, Denar throws a little bit of damage onto that fort already, or excuse me, that keep. She does have the nature's callings, so that's really amplifying her damage or that toxin damage into these structures as well. But now McIntyre, they're stepping up with the boss and siege giants, boss and top lane pushing in and see and excuse me, bruiser camp in mid as well. The Twilight's gonna connect onto the back lane with that portal, all three silence. Barrier is going to be popped. Sanctification is still up and a big old Keg W knocking Hacho around. Not really sure what he wants to do, but he does connect onto the portal. He's back away from the team fight and they're all on the run. The boss is on the core. A nice run off, uh, push off from the legacy to stun Porky and everyone is retreating back to the base. A nice shield from Porky as well. Actually, the root is going to connect on Troy underneath the base. Is he taking down? He is. Funds as well taking a lot of damage and Lupus is going to be the next in line for that tower i guess it's just melting away by team donut and this is a, gonna be a hold here and a portal potential chase down uh but you're chasing a lucio tyrio that's gonna be a big old sad face but this is a 2-3 curse a boss is still pushing in the top lane is this the annexation of puerto rico are we calling the the play of all plays and I mean, just sending it to the base I mean, they're rushing through mid right now. They're looking to potentially go up in this gate, like the series. They're trying to take advantage while they while they have any sort of advantage. Like that fight was wild. Like I was just sitting there watching. I was like, I was like, so many people should die. But the one thing I wanted to point out too is is the members of Donuts stepping into the uh, not the the map or the core defense mechanism that reduces your armor by seventy five. Hello, <laughs> yeah, hello. He did you see him get rooted and then the core mechanic hit him and yep. he was just dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was just like Lunar got hit with it, died. Uh, Chen got hit with it, died. Like it was just, it was like, there's really, like they, they saw who was getting hit with it and they were like, just dive that one hero, blow them up and that saves our core at 33%. And now the curse here in favor for Croissant, they're trying to go up in our series. They've got some pressure in the top lane, pressure in the mid. Dahaka clearing that out. They do, um, Dahaka should have brush stock. It is off cooldown right yeah. there as well. 20 talents here should be, it's gonna be here first for Donut, but Croissant not too far behind as well as they do have a lot of good map pressure in their favor. 37 seconds on this objective phase. They're gonna portal backwards. Uh, bosses are up in two minutes to two minute 30. I, I I don't know, I don't know the angle here from from Croissant. Do they keep pushing into top? I like the retreat here. They just needed to get level 20 and they have it now. Uh, I would say just keep them here. We need to continue to keep them here. Try to pressure that chin, right? We have Far Flight Quiver coming out from Ball, so she can really yeah. start to put in some damage from 7. .7 range. Um, it's basically Zul'jin with their level 1, uh, like with Headhunter and their baseline quest finished out. Wandering Kick from Chen getting into the back lane. Signification coming out from the tier. There's going to be a silence out from CPX. They get kicked, kicked and killed right there as they're still defending. I think there's going to be a Lucio sound barrier as well. Valmar very low as well. Portal will get them out. Oh, wait, no. Sound wave might force them back. Portal doesn't expire in time. Funz is going to kick further out into this enemy team as Hot Show and friends are getting a little low right now it's gonna be followed with a rain of vengeance funds needs to back off as they're getting low themselves hacho has a lot of good armor on themselves enough to share from the chen that's gonna be polybomb from one and tori doesn't spread it to anyone else oh tongue drag connect just in time on the chen and that's gonna be a one for one kill thus far they're looking to make it a two for one is that lunara damage is gonna be too much in legacy excuse me lupus finds the last little bit of damage really well played defense from donuts as they save their keep in top lane yeah and, and, uh, and a massive punish coming out from funds there on that keg uh, keg w right the immediate keg mm -hmm. coming out on the portal blowing the entire engage i think i think i'm 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 to the point in the game after so many failed attempts that we're just no longer portaling aggressively um we just need to again far flight quiver 
let Vala take control of the game. And when the engage happens, we do have, uh, at level 20, we have that isolation talent picked up, Contagion. It is mm -hmm. a massive game-winning heroic. Um, and in this case, it really could smash them out in the fact that there will be no sound barrier, no sanctification, no barrel. Um, all of these humongous heroics that are turning team fights will all be turned off if uh, we do yep. get a big contagion. So I think we need to start playing towards that from the side of Croissant. Um, and obviously for the side of Donut, they need to continue to play that self-aware, independent, you know, not get caught oh. from portal plays. He is able to galloping his way out of there. A nice yeah, casual galloping flying sheep, dude. That was just... Boom Lucio, Lucio also amplified the speed, and I don't think it stacks or anything. But like, they yeah, like, like, what is it? Because galloping gain is eighty percent increase, yeah, on, on on that swiftness. But either way, that's going to be boss invade coming out right now. There's the wandering keg to force them back. They do get, have their their sanctification on the ground as well. Porky not able to get the steal that they're looking for. Sound barrier out from the Lucio as well. Contagion goes out onto one. I don't think it spread to many more than actually no. It got onto two members right there as Lupus and uh, Nantori were getting very low. This is a bit of a split fight as that will be. Lupus getting picked off. Wandering keg is down. Chen just trying to share enough for the rest of the friendly team as boss will be going in through bottom lane. I don't think they can try and chase in, into the enemy side on the side of croissant but they're gonna do that on the side of donuts so they're chasing in further here trying to let this boss push through the lane chen just stacking and staggering damage as they uh, trade out kills right there tongue drag from dahaka connects onto one and this is still the enemy team like not able to get the damage onto this bosses that's pirate just running down the lane trying to chase after that hot getting very low as well auto attack damage from lunar should be enough but they actually get the portal through just in time hot actually galloping gate they're going to chase in further with it to get the extra movement speed, and they find the kill onto Medivh and the Zul. The boss is on core, and the members of Donuts are going to be... Ch are I think they're going up in this game here. Pirates, the only one left. Well, Valmar's still up for a second, but they're going to get the Assassin Lucio kill. Troy goes and ends up going down to the <laughs> core damage. Pirates going to get picked off as well, but that will be game number two over to the side of Donuts. They go up 2-0 in our best of five series. GG, well played. Yeah, a valiant effort. Uh at a hold there um just no no real resolution to the material uh being able to holy ground that boss right and the all-out fight mm -hmm. was exactly what they needed um able to pick up you know two kills even um the issue then became vala had to start damaging that boss otherwise it was going to walk him take the court out um and in doing so troy was able to play a little bit of lunara um in mm -hmm. this case, a little bit of Tyrio Lucio Lunara, just everyone's favorite Lunara to play against, especially when handling characters such as Zul and uh, Dahaka, right? These just massively lumbering uh, boneheads, I guess, in Zul's case. Um, so a really good chase down there from them and able to pick up some kills. I think it was saveable uh, had they had opted to portal over the wall. I think they could have pulled yeah. over towards the eye and maybe backed and defended from the base um, and just kind of had Vala damage the whole way through. They would have backed, defended, possibly saved. 